game through figures, and he continued on his coach until 1952. Better known as Captain Blood, Jack Dyer. Jack, it's certainly great to see my old buddy. You must be happy tonight because you work at the truth now. You got your job back, and uh, after getting Brian Hanson the sack, you got under his guard. Listen, I just want to clear up something. I didn't resign. I got the sack too at Richmond. Don't forget that too. Jack, uh, uh, you look terrific. That uh, suit, is that your own or did you hire it? No, uh, as a matter of fact, I put it in your bill down below, so you'll be squealing all night. You will. Jack, uh, we see certain famous players in football that are try trying to change the rules. And uh, there was a bloke who wrote an article on the Sunday. I won't mention his name. He had a couple of uh, two posts stuck up with a net across it. What do you think of that, Jack? Oh, I used to catch parrots with that down <laughs> when I was in Yarra Junction. I yeah. don't know, it's an old one, that one, too. Yes, it's an know. old one, it's not yeah, new. It's not new at all. He must have dreamed that one up right enough, but uh, the, the, the league makes it more players. Now this fellow's cutting them down. Well, he's got his own ideas. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name. Don't mention no, his don't name. No, don't mention his name. Oh, don't no. mention his name. Well, Jack <laughs> called him the all-night chemist the other day, and he said he never shuts up. Uh, <laughs> Is that right, Jack? <laughs> that is correct. Okay, Jack, look, well, you're the guest presenter. Just stand back a moment. This is Peter Landy's show and my show, too, you know. Yeah, m might I say it's nice to be with you the only time you get your name mentioned when you're with you now. You now. Yeah, well, that's Don't all right. Don't make that up. That's all right, Jack. No what? Your hands are shaky, mate. What have you been doing drinking all day today? Have you all right? Uh... I've been with your wife down there. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> with my, my lovely wife. Okay. <laughs> Let's take the nominations now for the best... Uh... I'm not still going those porno shows, Jack, are you? Or what? Uh... <laughs> You're finished. The best full thought. I'm sorry, I can't help talking to that guy. I love him so much. You kind of love simpletons now and again. You can't help feel sorry for them, can you? You talk about me or Jack Dyer? No, Jack Dyer, I've got it. He's a rough man. Oh, sorry, continue. Don Scott, I didn't mean that, mate. Uh... Oh, it's hard. You should try working with him on Saturday. The nominations for the best full forward, we have three. From Geelong, Larry Donoghue. From Footscray, Kelvin Templeton. And from St Kilda, George Young. And if we can uh, get Jack to put his glasses on. Yeah. Open the envelope, I'm sure he'll envelope. have a winner for us. Who is it, Jack? Is Jack? The winner is the best full forward, Kevin Templeton of Footscray. <laughs> well, football loves to see the good full forward, and there has passed through many great goal-kicking eras. The Pratts, Todds, Wade, Hudsons, the McKennas, and now perhaps a new one, the Templetons. The Footscray sharpshooter at 21 holds the lead with 118 in the, in the season's tally. And if he stays on target in the seasons ahead, could write new pages into the record books. When you consider that 150 goals is the record, and Footscray finished 11th on the ladder, why shouldn't the Bulldogs be confident that Templeton may one day do it? When you also consider that Templeton played his first league game in the third round of 74 against the Manquires, it proves he's come far in a short time. Kelvin, however, remains a shy young man. He lets his right boot do most of the talking. The Bulldogs have never had a spearhead to command such respect from the opposition clubs. Galvin has moved well past the previous best, that's the Footscray best, of Jack Collins, who kicked 84 goals back in 1954. Well, we said he was a shy type, but Kelvin is completing a phys ed degree at the Footscray Institute and looking ahead to 1979, when he'll be looking for many more goals. Full forward from Footscray and winning the Kazali, Kelvin Templeton. Kelvin, it's your second award for tonight. You're the glamour full forward of the league, and that's a very glamorous position to play in. You know, it must be tremendous. You must have a lot of girls chasing after you now. <laughs> I don't know, Lou. Uh, probably a few more than you had. I, that's what oh, I was told to say. Anyway. <laughs> Isn't that cruel? They're all trying to be smart, Alex. Well, uh, you gave me the line, Lou. That's a... Well, I didn't mean you to put it uh, so sincere. You could have made it a bit softer towards me. Okay, Calvin. Congratulations. It's terrific. <laughs> Well, I've got to say this because he's coming back for another award later. I think, I don't know, he may not be, I don't know. But, Calvin, you've been a terrific full forward. He is a great player, and I think we'll say goodbye just for the moment. Okay, Calvin. Thank, Thank you very much. Calvin Templeton. Good on you, Cal.